Seriti is proud to say that we are committed to coal. We will run these assets. We'll make sure that we run these, pro these assets as professional as possible. We are un unwavering in our commitment to being a coal miner. But then what has happened over the years is that key questions that get asked is, are you going to stay a coal miner throughout? And we are saying we are transitioning into an energy company, an energy company that recognizes that whilst we run our coal mining businesses, there are opportunities in other areas in the coal mining, in the, in the, in the energy space. And the opportunities include A, investing in solar, investing in wind, investing in other forms of renewable energy. And this makes us part of the journey that's called the just energy transition. Currently, as a, as a thermal coal only miner, and notwithstanding the current reprieve that ourselves and a few of our peers are getting from roaring export prices, the, the headwinds of ESG, particularly insofar as they relate to thermal coal, are unlikely to abate in our view and are only likely to get stronger in time, particularly as things normalize energy-wise across the world. And so really as a responsible business, we felt it opportune to start making decisions now that ultimately plan for our medium to long-term sustainability. And if we look at our business going forward and we look at it 10 years out, we acknowledge that coal is going to decline and we acknowledge that renewables is going to increase. And so as we want to be in, as we are in coal and we're a very relevant player in coal, particularly domestically, we felt at an opportune time to start to build our own capability in renewables, acknowledging that in the medium term, our earnings attribution from that business is going to increase significantly and it's going to enable us another arrow to play meaningfully in South Africa's energy complement and energy base, over and above just being uh, what we view to be a, a productive and cost-effective coal supplier to ESCOM. The pipeline that's coming across um, from Windlab is a three and a half gigawatt pipeline across the continent, uh, mainly focused in South Africa, approximately three gigawatts of pipeline um, in South Africa, and the large majority of that being in Mpumalanga. Let me just address this Mpumalanga matter quickly. Um, most people say we're crazy to be in Mpumalanga from a wind perspective. There, there really are two things that have happened over the last couple of years that, that make Mpumalanga uh, really attractive. Firstly, a lot of grid has dried up in the rest of the country. So I think we all know about the challenges in the Northern Cape. But, but more importantly, the technologies moved along that you're now getting bigger turbines. So uh, classic turbines of five years ago were 90 meters tall with 50, 60 meter blades. We're now talking 150 meter tall turbines with 100 meter blades. And I won't bore you with all the technical details, but you're capturing a lot more energy. And, and that drives success in Mpumalanga. I mean, it's very exciting to be very close to a lot of the Sariti operations within Mpumalanga and partnering with a company that, that has done so much for the province. So we're going to see a large um, build out in Mpumalanga over the next few years. Uh, I, I mentioned our three gigawatt pipeline in South Africa. Construction will start on approximately a gigawatt of that over the next 12 months. Now, I think we can all understand the challenges that are going on in the market at the moment. On the macro side, we have large logistical challenges and global inflation um, that, are, that are making supply difficult. But we are moving forward um, with approximately a gigawatt across, across the country in our pipeline. And we will be focusing and trying to build out 450 megawatts in Mpumalanga in Q1, Q2 next year, immediately post-closure of this transaction. Uh, a 450 megawatt wind farm is approximately 12 billion rand in capital expenditure. So we, we want to move forward and build out three gigawatts in South Africa by 2030. It's a 75 billion rand capital investment.